Now, even last week, uh, you were sparring in, with Lucas Matisse when he was down here in Indio. How'd that go? Uh, that went great. I actually wanted to, I found out he was uh, training um, at the Bradley camp over there. And I told Willie Sill, our manager, hey, I heard somebody, I heard on the, I think it was on the internet, hey, he's Matisse training out there, let's just go and give him a try. He knows who El Diaz made the call. Me and my brother actually went out there to go spar. And um, it was fun. It was good sparring. Me and him switched off with me and my brother. And uh, I thought we gave him some good sparring, you know. And um, I thought I surprised him. I, I thought he, he maybe thought we were going to be simple. I maybe last minute, last uh, week sparring, maybe easy sparring. And we ended up giving him some tough, good sparring. Now, uh, did he ever hit you hard enough? Did you ever feel his power? Uh, no, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel too much. I, I never, like I said, I never got shot, uh, got caught clean with his shot, so I didn't really feel any different than any other sparring. But, like, but I have seen him spar the other, some other guys there that uh, look like, you know, he has a good pop on him. Plus, you know, he, he spars with 18 ounce gloves, and uh, he still has pretty good, you know, power with that. The rumor that was coming out of the sparring session was that he was dropping some of these guys. Is that true? Uh, you know, I didn't see it, but uh, one guy that I saw him spar, he was not, practically knocking him out. And this was a bigger, a bigger, heavier guy. And Matisse, if you stand there with him, uh, he's gonna, get, he's gonna just rip you apart. He'll rip you the body, rip you the head, hit your shoulders. He hit anywhere. I mean, uh, he's a tough guy. I've I seen him. If you have no defense, if you leave yourself open. Uh, that's it. He touch you, you're going down. It kind of like it makes sense that he's been like pretty much destroying all these guys he's been fighting. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he's a smart fighter. He's not just all power. You know, he's smart. He times you. He uh, he goes well out of the body. Uh, he's a little tricky and a little frustrating, you know. So there's a lot to him. There's a lot to him in this fight. What do you believe? Uh, a lot of people don't understand what the whole timing concept is. If you could explain that a little bit. Oh, uh, well, with the timing is um, like with me, for instance, if you, you sometimes there's there's a, a time in a fight where a boxer will relax or do a certain move. And when he does that move, he's not set to punch and he'll figure out in time and wait for you to, to move, slip to the left a little and know that you don't throw punches while you're, while you're on that side. And he boom, boom, three punches on your face right there. And you didn't, you didn't even expect it, you know. You don't usually don't throw. He, he finds a rhythm of where you're, you're moving and where, from what rhythm you throw, from which way angle you throw. And he knows there's an angle you don't throw. When you do that angle and repeat, you repeat the same move, he's going to catch you there. Now, what do you think uh, with this big fight coming up this weekend, his fighting um, Danny Garcia, what do you think about that fight? I think it's going to be an interesting fight. It's going to be a uh, tough fight. Like everybody says, it's uh, bombs away. It's going to be uh, a lot of hard punches. Uh, I think either one could be knocked out, you know, um, to get it to get left open. I feel uh, Matisse has shown a little bit more than Danny Garcia in, in his fighting style. Uh, I think uh, they say Garcia can box. I haven't seen it. Um, but um, hopefully he boxes that day because I think if he stands there, I think uh, it'll be Matisse all the way.